In this video, you will learn to conduct hypothesis tests for the difference between two proportions using StatCrunch. The data set I'll be using is called Top US Problems. This data set comes from a Gallup survey taken in July and August 2014, which asked 945 Republicans and 854 Democrats to name the biggest problem for the United States. The party column contains the respondent's party's affiliation, either Republican or Democrat. The response column contains the top problem identified by the respondent. Only the top four responses are tabulated here. Immigration, dysfunctional government, economy, and unemployment. The remaining responses are listed as other. So, for this video, the statistical question I'm going to test is, is there a significant difference between the proportion of Republicans and the proportion of Democrats that identify immigration as the top problem? To conduct the appropriate hypothesis test, under the stat menu, I'll choose proportion stats, to sample, with date. For sample 1 and sample 2 and the values inbox, I'll choose response. The success input is used to define the outcome of interest. In this case, I'm going to set the value to immigration for both sample 1 and sample 2. Note, StatCrunch is case sensitive, so this needs to appear the exact same way as it does in the data table. To limit the respondents in the first sample to only Republicans, in the where box, I'm going to type party equals Republican. To limit the respondents in the second sample to only Democrats, I'll type party equal Democrat. Under perform, the hypothesis test option is already selected by default. I'll leave the null value at zero to directly compare the two proportions. The alternative hypothesis can be changed to less than or greater than but for this scenario, I'll leave the alternative at not equal to, since the goal is to detect any type of difference. I'll click Compute. The hypothesis test output includes the difference of the observed sample proportion of immigration responses between Republicans and Democrats, the test statistic, and the p-value. 